Good afternoon. It is October 1st, 2020, and we are at 1525 North Palo Verde to do a move out inspection. Already walked the whole yard, and the uh, yard is actually in pretty decent condition. It's all weeded and uh, trimmed up. Doesn't look bad. Couple things here with this house has nothing to do with the tenant, but we've got some serious dry rot issues up in that fascia and also in that front window. And after we go inside, you'll see on the front door as well. Those are ongoing issues. That's nothing new. Let's walk around. The yard is in very decent condition. It's obviously been weeded, raked, and picked up. All of that is good. This is a large yard and it can easily get to uh, be overcome with, with weeds. Even the side yard here, which has had a lot of growth in it through the years looks pretty decent okay okay a few things here i can't get into the other shed i don't have a key to the lock so we're going to, have to cut the lock come back take a look see if there's anything in there now we're going to go into the house. I'll turn on the lights so we can uh, see things a little easier. And there's a lot of this tenant uh, left a lot of things here. All of this is going to have to be picked up before we can even send a cleaning company in. A lot of stuff. Toilet looks like it hasn't been cleaned in ages. But just a lot of things. All this stuff all has to be picked up and hauled away before we can even start cleaning. Okay, let's go into the back bedrooms. Somebody left a coat behind. A lot of stuff on. Now these were all brand new carpets when they moved in. We'll see how well they clean up. Didn't really spot any uh, pet spots. There were a few. Not not terrible. And the carpet is uh, worn looking though. That is a concern. Once again, we have a lot of stuff that we have to come in here and pick up before we can even start cleaning. Okay. Well, let's see if there's anything in the closet here. Well, they left the closet pretty clean. They took all their clothes. Okay. All of that's good. Going to the kitchen here. They left a couple large sandboxes. This is also the area where we did spot some uh, through, you know, when is the we did spot some cat spots I can come back and re-photograph those using the ultraviolet light obviously they had uh, several cats here's another cat box a bunch of cat sand here all of this uh, of course is going to need to be picked up Swept down. Mike will be doing a more in depth inspection. I'm just doing a quick walkthrough video to see what we're faced with. We have uh, dry rot issues here. That is not a tenant issue. It's sort of been an ongoing issue with the front here. 
Okay, let's go into this one bedroom. I don't quite understand why when our instructions are to leave the place uh, broom clean basically means that all this should have been picked up. So I've got to send somebody in first to do all that before I even can start cleaning. And we also have to make certain there isn't anything of any great value in all of that. If there is, we need to uh, contact the tenant and get it to them. Everything I see here is just general detritus of living. Okay, my last room here I'm going to be going into is the uh, kitchen. And uh, we'll go on in here. Uh, hold on. Okay, now we're going to go into the kitchen. And, uh, okay, I'm not even going to bother to pull the stove out and video it because it's obvious that they didn't try cleaning it anyway. Look at that, the interior though, they must never have used the oven, it looks perfectly clean. Okay. Okay, and once again, Mike will be doing a complete video here, or, or photographs. Okay. All right. Work, work our way out back and that'll pretty much be it for the uh, video today when we drove on up the appearance of the front yard sort of led us to believe that the interior would be equally clean but uh, obviously uh, needs a lot of pickup and all that to get it into rent ready condition and uh, anyway there we are that's the uh, end of the video thank you for watching